I'm Officer Harold Ely, and welcome to Behind the Badge, where you get an up-close and personal look at the many aspects of the Newport News Police Department. Policing is a dangerous job, and professional law enforcement uses training, and in many cases, very specialized training, to keep the officers and the citizens safe. We're happy to have with us today the commander of the Newport News Police Tactical Unit, Lieutenant J.W. Boswell. Lieutenant Boswell, welcome to Behind the Badge. Glad to be here, thank you. All right. Now, Behind the Badge, before we jump into talking about the tactical team and, and the importance of training as it relates to the tactical team, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been with the department, and bring us up to speed as what your assignments are right now. Well, I'm a 27-year veteran of the police department, and I've served as deputy commander or commander since 2006. So this is a collateral duty for me. Uh, my normal duty, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, is as the Major Crime Section Commander, uh, which comprises uh, robbery, homicide, special victims unit, forensics. And then uh, the, the tactical team trains twice a month to be prepared for uh, operations that are beyond the scope of the normal patrol officer. So today we're, you have your tactical team out and we're in the middle of training. Training is very important, but there's some misconceptions I hear sometimes about the tactical team. Sometimes it's called SWAT, sometimes it's called PAC. Can you straighten us out on that? What is the actual title? SWAT is the acronym uh, began by uh, Chief Gates uh, out of LAPD uh, when the first tactical teams were, were begun. Mm -hmm. uh, it stands for Special Weapons and Tactics, and a lot of teams use that acronym because it's very familiar. Uh, it, it, it's very, um, it's very accurate in what it describes as well. I mean, it's a special weapons and tactics unit. Uh, well, we don't use tact anymore. It's, it's, if we use the word tact, it's simply in, in a short abbreviation for the word tactical. Okay. Uh, we're not the tact team. We're the tactical operations unit. So, what does tact do? Um, tact has, uh, as its primary responsibilities, uh, hostage situations, hostage rescue, uh, armed, barricaded individuals, or any other high risk uh, warrant service operation that may be beyond the scope of the normal patrol officer. Okay, and how long has the TAC team been in existence? Our team formed, uh, I believe, in 1978. And of course, we've, we've modified as, as, uh, as new tactics and new weapons uh, have evolved uh, in some of the major cities. Um, uh, we're, we're members of the, the National Tactical Officers Association and as such we follow some of the standards that they've set forth uh, nationwide to kind of govern our training uh, and the standards that we set forth for, uh, for physical fitness. Physical fitness. Training. Now, training is awfully important and you do it often. Why is it so important? No team will ever tell you that they train often enough okay. because you're going to fight like you train. The more you train, the better prepared you're going to be for any eventuality, uh, whether, whether it be that hostage rescue or whether it be that armed barricade gunman, um, the one time that, that uh, they don't surrender peacefully and things get uh, uh, scary. All right. Members of the tactical team. What are their qualifications? Do they come from all over the department? Are they specialized? Every officer has to complete probation, and then they have to try out for the team. Uh, the tryouts is a day-long process uh, culminated by a commander's interview. The process um, basically is, is comprised of uh, officers that have to move, and they have to be able to shoot. And if they can't do those things, I can't use them. Uh, we want critical thinkers. We want people who are physically uh, fit and self-motivated. Now, I know there are a lot of different skill sets on the tactical team. Could you talk about those at all, the different types of jobs that you have on the team? Sure. Uh, we have, we have a 32-man unit, uh, a commander, deputy commander. We have three team leaders, which are uh, sergeants, and their normal duties are, field, are as field sergeants or uh, detective sergeants. Um, we have a 10-man uh, perimeter team, um, a four-man sniper team, and uh, the rest are, are assault team members. Um, in that assault team stack, you might have uh, members whose responsibilities include uh, being a shield bearer, a controller, 
team leader, uh, guests, responsibilities, um, and other equipment responsibilities to include uh, whatever camera equipment uh, that we might be able to bring into a scenario um, or such other jobs as, uh, as the team leaders may need in that stack. In tactical situations, there are expectations. I know patrol has expectations. You have expectations. And I know it all ends with a successful operation. So do you have one grand expectation as a tactical commander? Everybody comes home safe. Everybody comes home Excellent. safe. Right. If I have the right intelligence at the time uh, that we are deploying to the crisis point, and I have uh, all the materials, resources, uh, and equipment that I need uh, from my tech members responding to the, to the scene, it's going to be a successful conclusion because these guys train hard. I noticed today that you were on the line also for qualification. Why don't you tell us, how'd you do? Well, I shot a 95 today. Um, That's impressive. Well, and every member of the tactical team is expected to shoot very high. Yes? Every member of the tactical team has to shoot above a 90. Above a 90. In order to uh, qualify first and then remain qualified as a continuing member of the team. Okay. Is there any other thing that you would like the citizens to know about our tactical team? These are probably the most dedicated police officers you're going to find anywhere. Uh, this is a collateral duty for them. So not only are they giving up um, their free time as a, as a public servant wearing the normal badge uniform uh, during their daily routines, but this, this is something above and beyond um, what the normal patrol officer, the normal detective, the normal supervisor would be called to do. So this is extraordinary, and so are these men. Thank you, Lieutenant Boswell. Stay safe. My pleasure. Thank you. And I want to thank you, all of you, for watching Behind the Badge.